theory is currently the best model for the origins of our universe. Astrophysicists have shown that the theory accurately fits phenomena observed in space over many decades, such as residual background radiation and elemental abundances. It's a robust foundation that helps us understand how the universe came to be 13.7 billion years ago. Everything, according to prevailing belief, started with the Big Bang. In essence, the theory argues that everything, everywhere, comes to life at once. The problem is that everything before the Big Bang is impossible to comprehend. However, with the current rise of preprint papers and popular science publications on the first photographs from the James Webb Space Telescope, old claims that the Big Bang never happened have been spreading on social media and in the media. One expert claims that the JWST photographs are generating panic among cosmologists or those who study the origins of the universe. What are the most recent JWST images? How do the images suggest that the Big Bang theory was factually incorrect? Let's examine the evidence presented by the James Webb Space Telescope to find out. The launch of the James Webb Space Telescope last year generated a lot of excitement. The JWST, the most advanced and costly telescope ever built, is now in operation and has the potential to utterly and fundamentally transform astronomy with a single discovery. The potential advantages of the JWST considerably outweigh the risks associated with its launch. No other scientific instrument has showed such promise for furthering humanity's understanding of the universe. As a result, scientists from all over the world have been queuing to utilise the telescope since it was declared operational. None of them, however, were prepared for one of the telescope's most shocking discoveries. After only a few weeks of operation, the JWST has captured images that contradict the Big Bang hypothesis. The notion that the universe began with a Big Bang is deeply embedded in the imaginations of millions of people. However, the so-called science isn't quite as solid as most people assume. Many scientists, even atheistic and naturalistic ones, recognise that the theory has serious flaws, and the latest James Webb Space Telescope photos haven't helped those who believe in the Big Bang theory. The Big Bang theory came from the work of George Lemaitre, a priest turned astronomer who postulated in 1927 that the universe began as a single point. He said that the entire universe had expanded to its current size and could do so eternally. A few years later, astronomer Edwin Hubble, for whom the Hubble Space Telescope was named, improved on Lemaitre's theory. Hubble revealed that other galaxies were travelling away from us and that distant galaxies were moving faster than nearer galaxies. As a consequence, the astronomer concluded that the universe was still expanding, just as Lemaitre predicted. In essence, if everything was moving away, it signified that everything was once closer together. According to the Big Bang theory, the cosmos originated as a collection of hot, small particles intermingled with light and energy. As everything grew and took up more room, the temperature dropped. The minuscule particles clumped together to form atoms, which clumped together to form the stars and galaxies we see today. These early stars produced larger atoms and atomic groups, which resulted in the birth of new stars. Galaxies collided and fused at the same moment, creating a chaotic cosmic display. Other objects like as asteroids, comets, planets and black holes emerged when new stars formed and perished. All of this happened over the course of 14 billion years, but what if the Big Bang did not occur? While many scientists are hesitant to explore this idea because it has been a cornerstone of modern astronomy, the JWST has been brutal with its most recent set of photographs. The scientists are attempting to explain why the images from the JWST do not match with the Big Bang theory, which is widely accepted. The JWST is intended to see infrared wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum. Because light from very distant galaxies is redshifted to this region of the spectrum, the JWST should be able to capture more detailed photographs of these galaxies. Indeed, an online comparison demonstrates that Webb's deep field photos are even better than Hubble's breathtaking photographs. Creationists have long observed that the Big Bang suffers from the mature faraway galaxy dilemma. According to Big Bang Theory, light from the most distant galaxies took more than 13 billion years to reach Earth. According to Big Bang Theory, we should view these incredibly distant galaxies not as they are now, but as they were more than 13 billion years ago. As a result, 
these galaxies should appear unevolved and immature. However, this expectation is frequently defied, and preliminary evidence from Webb confirms the pattern. The initial James Webb Space Telescope results appear to imply that big, brilliant galaxies developed during the first 250 million years after the Big Bang. If this is proven, it will fundamentally challenge existing cosmological beliefs. Many of these galaxies appear to be more massive than the traditional cosmological model which defines the composition and development of the universe. To be fair, these are preliminary results that have not yet been validated. They are, however, obviously generating anxiety among Big Bang theorists. It worries me slightly that we find these monsters, galaxies, in the first few images, said cosmologist Richard Ellis of University College London. This is way outside the box of what models were predicting, said Garth Illingworth of the University of California, Santa Cruz. The JWST images have a flaw in that they display an unusually large number of galaxies that are smooth, compact and old. This appears to contradict the Big Bang theory. But why? Consider the overly narrow viewpoint. If the cosmos is expanding, we are seeing a strange optical illusion. In actuality, galaxies and other naturally occurring space objects do not appear to diminish in apparent size as one advances away from them they should expand in size exponentially after a certain threshold. Consider this, they got closer as their apparent brightness faded. This is in contrast to how things seem in non-expanding space, where distance has the reverse effect and objects appear smaller as they get further away. The fact that scientists who have analysed JWST images have discovered small galaxies cannot be denied. When compared to Hubble images, galaxies with brightness and mass higher than the Milky Way seem to be two to three times smaller in these images. It's no mystery that the new galaxies have redshifts that are twice or three times that of the old ones. This type of activity from an expanding universe is rather unexpected. If the universe is not expanding, the galaxies observed by the JWST are the same size as the galaxy nearest to us, and redshift is proportional to distance. According to the Big Bang hypothesis, these extremely distant galaxies must be essentially unusually small in order to account for the alleged optical illusion. The GHZ2 is significantly brighter than the Milky Way. However, calculations suggest that its estimated radius is just 300 light years, which is 150 times smaller than that of the Milky Way. If you measured its luminosity by surface area, it would be 600 times brighter than the next galaxy. Its density would be many orders of magnitude more than that of the galaxies we can see now. What about the smoothness of the galaxies? What impact does this have on the Big Bang theory? For the Big Bang hypothesis to be right, there must be mighty mouse galaxies, which are small, dense galaxies. The JWST has made the situation far worse than it was before. Small galaxies, according to the theory, grow into present galaxies by colliding with one another and merging as they expand out. As a result, many proponents of the Big Bang hypothesis believe we'd find galaxies with visible scars or rough edges from the collision they underwent or survived. The JWST's surprising finding of incredibly smooth disks and immaculate spiral patterns, on the other hand, caught them off guard. They have the same appearance as galaxies today. According to the statistics, the number of smooth spiral galaxies in the photographs was around 10 times greater than what theory expected. As a result, the notion that galaxy mergers are widespread is put into doubt. The merger idea is thus invalidated by these findings. So what happens when galaxies merge rarely? Individual galaxies cannot acquire this amount of mass. Only mergers may create such massive structures. As a result, we may assume that bigger galaxies were never intermediate in size. It also implies that the expanding universe hypothesis was incorrect in its prediction of an optical illusion, as the absence of an illusion is evidence against expansion. The illusion is a natural consequence of expansion. Moving on, consider the two historical aspects. In reality, it's quite similar to or identical to far too many other things. Using a variety of filters, the JWST captures images in the infrared region of the spectrum. Astronomers can now see the colours of faraway galaxies. 
Astronomers use it to determine how long ago the stars in these galaxies originated. Stars that are older and cooler are yellow or red, whereas youthful and hot stars are blue. The images from the JWST show the most distant galaxies as they should have been 400 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. Several of these galaxies' star populations, on the other hand, are more than a billion years old. Nothing could have existed before to the formation of these galaxies for there to be a Big Bang. If the Big Bang hypothesis is correct, the JWST should detect fewer galaxies the further back in time it searches. It would eventually either stop monitoring faraway galaxies or experience a cosmic dark period. Scientists, on the other hand, are establishing that huge galaxies like the Milky Way remain prevalent even hundreds of millions of years after the purported Big Bang. According to scientists, the number of galaxies in the latest JWST photos is at least 100,000 times larger than what theory anticipated for redshifts greater than 10, showing that many large galaxies formed swiftly. If that's the case, it's difficult to think there was no Big Bang. Let us know what you think about the Big Bang Theory's accuracy in the comments section below.